It's time for our monthly East Lake Pet Orphanage segment with Dr. Brittany Barton. Today she's introducing us to Sweet Amelia, and she also explains what pet owners need to know about animal obesity, especially yes. with Skinny in the News, which you have her under your care. We'll talk all about yes. that. Tell yes. us about Amelia. She's adorable. What a sweetheart. Amelia is about a year old little Chihuahua baby girl. Unfortunately, she had been bred with a dog that was much, much larger than her, and she presented to the hospital in severe distress with birthing problems, and unfortunately, the puppies didn't make it. So we have her spayed. She is a gentle, sweet, darling girl that just needs someone to adore and dote on her. So I think she would do very, very well in like a retired person's home or, you know, just an older person that wants a, a nice, quiet, calm environment. I think she would fit in beautifully. She's fit in very quickly or she's kind of, you know, apprehensive at first, but yeah. she's so sweet and she's she calm is. now. She's loving her camera time. Time to be a star. Well, and I she's ready for adoption, that. so we, we can yes. call Oh, yes, in. yes, she's That's ready great. to go. She has been fully vetted. All of her vaccines are updated. She's healed from her surgery. She's dried up from, from her mammary glands, so she is ready to go Success anytime. Success story ready to go. Yes, she is. Well, let's switch gears and talk about pet obesity. Please, let's. <laughs> you, you have Skinny now at yes. the East Lake Pet Orphanage. If yes. you all don't know, this is a severely obese cat. And mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about the story. Uh, Skinny, Skinny was taken to the Richardson Animal Shelter with the report that he or she was found in their backyard. I suspect that there could be potentially some concerns regarding, you know, being claimed to have animal cruelty charges brought against them because honestly this cat cannot walk further than about five feet at any one time. And he just can't breathe? I mean, he can't breathe. It's too hard on his joints. Um, I say that. You just look at that picture yeah. and your initial instinct is like, is that real? Yeah, I mean, and I say he or she because honestly there is too much fat and extra skin to really adequately be able to call wow, the, the sex of this cat. Um, with obesity of this level, that cat had to be completely catered to. And on the teasers you were showing, Obi, who is a cat or a dog out right. of Oregon that was found under a situation where the owners were having dementia problems and were forgetting if they fed the dog, were forgetting how much they fed the dog. And it got to a point where this dog can't even stand and walk. And for Obi, he's about 77 pounds there. Um, that's a little over twice the size he should be. With Skinny, He's about 38, 40 pounds, which is almost four times more than what he should weigh. That's, crazy. That's akin to about a 550 pound human. So we as pet owners, we, this brings awareness to the fact mm -hmm. that maybe we're overfeeding our fat. We need to be more concerned about yes. our pet's weight. What do we need to, to know as, as pet owners and do to prevent <laughs> the, these situations? <laughs> well, it's definitely an obesity epidemic, you know, as mentioned with kids in school. Over half of the dogs and half of cats are now obese. Jeez. People need to, I guess, talk with their veterinarian, learn how to tell body condition score. We have two scoring charts, a five point and a nine point that lets you quantify exactly how their body condition is. Are they obese? Are they a little obese? So talk with your veterinarian, learn how to feel and, and look at their body to see if they have a nice little waist here. See if they have a nice little tuck up underneath their abdomen. You should be able to feel their ribs. We've got to do something to really in, interrupt this process because obesity leads to orthopedic problems, pancreas problems, diabetes, uh, multi-organ problems. So just be more, be a more proactive pet owner. Please, please. Truly, be more aware. Neil, you're so sweet. Thank you both for coming on today, talking Thank about this great having topic, us. and of course, bringing Amelia. And be sure to visit ELPO.org or call 214-349-ELPO for more information about Amelia or any other adoptable animals at the ELPO.